where I decided I was Superman, mm -hmm. and they made it fly, <laughs> and we were running around back there, and I almost got him in trouble. <laughs> oh, yeah, they take it very seriously. I know they take it so seriously, but it was so worth it. They're so much fun. What did you think of the performance? I mean, I'm sure it's exciting for the kids to perform in front of so cool. actors. Yeah, you know, I am in four choirs now. Wow. So, and, well, I'm in two choirs and two bands. Okay. And we just got done with our huge performance, where, you know, I sat up there and I, uh, I sang a couple country songs, and then I sang Barracuda, which is so unlike me. But I've sung with my choir a couple of the songs that they did, and I'm the high C. So I hear that stuff, and they hit it so perfectly, and it was so great to watch them with their showmanship. Yeah. I mean, that was a long set. They were up there... So long, with so much endurance, and they didn't look dead tired at the end. I was so proud of each and every one of them. So during the coronation, did you, were you sitting up there, and did you actually think that you feel like a queen? Because it's so, so serious, like you said, in this sister and, and the king. And you must have felt like really, such a wizard of Oz. It really got me with the key to the city, and I went, I thought I had to save lives before I did that. Well, I feel like I need to earn it now. But I, you know, I felt like I was in Princess Diaries for a couple seconds, right up until my dad looked at me and went, and just, he's a very odd man. He likes to make me giggle. So he'll just say random words, just for the fun of it. Um, I think he said pumpernickel. And all of a sudden I went, okay, I'm not a queen. I'm sitting here with dad. It was wonderful. And then I can't whisper it. It's a really nice moment. moment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I hit with this pumpernickel. <laughs> but he was definitely, he took it very seriously, especially when everyone was coming up and bowing to me. He said, you know, this is really important. And, and I feel like it was. Yeah. I think the best part for me was when my mom went up there because she... She will hate that I'm saying this. But she was Miss Teen Indiana. Oh, that girl knows how to work it. She is the most beautiful woman inside and out. But ever since then, she's kind of tried to stay away from the spotlight. And having her up there, she started talking and I looked at her and she was saying something very serious. And I took it all so seriously, but for one second I crossed my eyes at her. <laughs> and uh, it lightened her up right away and she got so much more comfortable on stage. So that's what, what part of Indiana is she really from? Really. She's from just outside LaPorte. Wow. So it's uh, it's not up in northern Indiana. Oh, okay. I went to school in Indiana. Nice. Yeah. It's, yeah. She went to uh, Indiana for me. Okay. She's, yeah, for a couple of years. Yeah. Which was fun. Yeah. Then no. she came back to LA and everything was good. <laughs> no, are you a junior or a senior? I'm a junior. Okay. Yeah, I'm still doing SATs and ACTs. I'm missing one today, I think. It's fun. Okay. I'm much rather be here. Yeah. Much rather be here. Yeah. yeah. And you're going to go off to college? Or? I am. Or? You know what? I love acting more than I love breathing. <laughs> Just because I feel like the way I can touch people and experience life is so much more fun when I get to do that in different ways. But my dad told me anything less than a PhD is not acceptable. So I right now I'm you know my first choice is Yale. That would be beautiful. Um, but past that I'm looking at Oxford and Johns Hopkins where my grandfather teaches. Have you been to England? Uh, I have. We lived there for a little bit. Is there a bunch of studying around there? No. Oxford? Oh, it's so much fun. Dude, we lived just out. We lived in Windsor for a while. We were right next to the castle. And so I'd wake up every morning and go, oh, I want to be royalty. <laughs> well, you know, now. Yeah, that's great. Are you still on? I was, yes. They let me run up at the end. It took us, I had this corrected a couple days ago. It took them two days for me to film a 10 second shot because I kept jumping over this puddle with my big hobbit feet on and they wanted it to look straight. So I just say I love to steal the spotlight. Yeah. What's it like growing up in a family, you know, two generations before you were a famous actress? What's that like? You know, a lot of people, it's, yeah, it's, you know, my normal is very weird. I grew up, I lived in 16 countries. It was, and I loved it. And my constant thing in my life was my mom. But outside of that, you know, my dad's family is so wonderfully wacky. They're really beautiful people. And you'll have those experiences where, you know, my grandmother would say, I've won an Oscar by your age, darling, you're doing nothing yet. But 
I think most people, whoever, if anyone resents their parents, have never actually gotten that feeling with any of my family because I look up to them so much, and the fact that they happen to have made their bones and what I want to be doing for the rest of my life is so cool. I love that. I'm just so lucky. And they're successfully married at such a young age. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And they're the sweetest, the sweetest little couple. And my mom still looks, I mean, my dad, but he has a baby face. So he'll sit around. He always looks like a kid when he's running around. But he makes my mom look and act like a teenager more than anybody I've ever seen. You can buy. You just come. I hope I can find somebody like that. That would be so sweet. Hopefully a little older, though. They were such kids. Yeah, they probably won't let you get married that young. Oh, no. They're locking me up. Your grandpa's got a twinkle in his eye. When I watch the ads, you can see that twinkle in his eye, and he's still oh, yeah. a little blink. That man is the smartest man you'll ever meet. Stop talking. Yeah, but he's, he has an eidetic memory. So if you say something weird, he'll remember it forever. <laughs> but he, no matter what, as old as he gets, he will remember and speak about. He'll be talking about a novel and he'll go, oh yeah, in the third paragraph, the fourth line in this book on this page, it says this really interesting thing. And he'll go, yeah, I read Dr. Seuss. Uh, yeah, he's such a good guy. Yeah. And your grand, your um, step grandma, she saw that you were yes. going to be, and then thing, that's how they came here. Oh my goodness, Grandma Val is so wonderful, and she's so oh, she's so gorgeous. She will never age. Yes, yeah. it's amazing. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. She's a tiny little woman with the strength of stallions, and she comes in, and she's always so involved. No matter how busy they get, she'll know what I'm up to. Yeah, it's the coolest thing ever. So what? She saw that you're going to be in this. Episode? She did. And she, you know what? She has it set up so that whenever my granddad's name comes up on Google, it gives her a little alert. And she saw this tiny little picture, and she went, "If that is my granddaughter, she hasn't told me about it." <laughs> so I called her that day, and she went, "Thank goodness." Thought I was gonna have to call you. Oh, great. It's nice that they're so close. It is. It's wonderful. And we rarely. They moved out to Baltimore about 14 years ago. So we don't get to see them as much. Yeah. But do you come back? Yeah. It's close to Baltimore. You know what? I'm going through colleges, I'm going to be out here so much. And my little sister Elizabeth is convinced she's going to live here. She's been picking out her house. I mean, every house she passes, she goes, "This one could work." I like the square footage. I like the trees. It's really pretty old houses here. Oh, they're so. Yeah. It's very English looking actually, the downtown area. Yeah, that's what I said. We were walking through by the museum, and I said, This looks exactly like some of the hillsides we live by in England. So, mm -hmm. wow. you did a really good job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty cool area. Yeah. Yes. Anything else you want to say to someone? Oh my goodness. I just want to, I can't say thank you enough. I can't feel more humbled to be around such wonderfully kind people. To not only me, but it means a lot after having been, you know, with my Dad for a long time, where we're here to support him most of the time, and I know how it feels to be the supporting family. And everyone here cares just as much about everyone in my family as they do about me and about my dad, and that is so unique to hear, and it's so beautiful. So I'm just so grateful. Looking forward to the parade. Oh, it's gonna be fun. I get to sit with uh, I get to sit with the president. She is the coolest lady. Oh, is that Luann? Yeah, it's Luann. And her uh, her grandson was my escort last night. And Hunter is the most patient young man. Oh my heavens! He had my little sister had him freestyle dancing. I don't even know what they were doing. Ah, he's the best. So she's I'm so looking forward to that. <laughs> was it fun to see your sisters on stage today? They're oh my cute. goodness, yeah. I love them. Any chance to see them in front of people, I just. <laughs> I, want to, I want to tell you a quick story about your dad. Oh, Ten years ago when he was here, he was the Grand Marshal. Yeah. My, my daughter Katie, who was 18 at the time, she was helping me because I was working for a TV station at the time. And she was shaking like a leaf because, oh my God, it's Sean, it's Sean Aston. So, so Sean took my daughter's hand because she was holding the microphone. And he, he took her hand and he says, why don't you put your hand down here on my leg and use my leg as a mic stand. More. And yeah, she just went into a giant puddle of plasma. Oh because, goodness, oh my God. God, my hand is on Sean Aston's knee. I remember I told people Sean Aston touched my wrist at Apple Blossom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my dad's such a goober. Yeah. I he love was, him. She, he was, she's, she's never forgotten that moment. Oh my goodness. And she still thinks he's the best celebrity ever.
Yeah. I love it when people call up to me and say, I love your dad. I'm like, I love him too. Yeah. We have so much in common. He's <laughs> my dad. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, and he, I think, is back on a plane right now. Yeah, I, we had that a chance. That man never stops. Yeah. He is so on it all We had a chance to talk to him this he morning. He's so. tired today. He just had uh, yeah, uh, all night or something. No, he, no, he's had, I think he's pulled three all-nighters in a mm -hmm. row. And at, before that, he's been working 20-hour days. Wow. So I'll tell you what, there's nothing he won't do for a family. Mm -hmm. He is such an amazing father. And now I'm getting all sentimental. <laughs> he left earlier and I was like, ah! Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll cut it off before. Yeah. 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 Wonderful. Well, we've Great. got to get Thank you back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get you ready. Good luck in your future. Thank you so much. Thanks. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Good luck. All right, anybody? We're good. Any, anything else? I think